Liendo, uh, trying to potentially break a national record. Well, Josh Liendo looked like a million bucks this morning. He practically even split that swim, that 48.65. He was 24-1, 24-5. A great well second 50. Final. As the finalists now Johnson. come to the deck. Play number nine, one of the top juniors in the country. He put a best time up this morning at 50.50. Aiden Norman, University of Calgary. In lane number zero from HPC Van, James Lebuc, six last night in the 50 free. Another junior in lane number eight from Toronto, Philip Sensomartic, 50.61 this morning. Lane one, Rain Arden, a PB by .6, was a good substantial this morning. Top seeded junior in the A final from the University of Calgary, Paul Dardis. Lane two, University of Calgary, Stephen Calkins. He was going to retire after last year's trials and then got the call that he was selected to represent Canada at the Commonwealth Games. Edouard Kulam Hood, first time cracking that 50 mark this morning at 49.92. Lane three, Finley Knox. He broke the Canadian record last night in the 200 IM, trying to swim at this event on the relay this summer. Javier Acevedo from Ajax in lane number five, broke the Canadian record in the 50 meter backstroke, won the 100 as well. Lane four, North York Aquatic Club, Josh Liendo. Josh looked very relaxed as you mentioned this morning. His second field at 50 was almost as fast as his first. He is the world championship bronze medalist in this event last year. The Canadian record here stands from 2009. One of the oldest records in the books, at least for Canada, is held by Brent Hayden. Brent Hayden's in the, in the building. Josh and Brent have become great friends. And Brent's watching very closely here. He's been cheering him on. And it's been an awesome bond to see one generation to the next and the future of Canadian swimming taking over right in front of our eyes. Well, you probably can't see it here on your screen, but Hayden is down on the deck near the finish of the men's 100 meter freestyle. Watching his protege there, Joshua Liendo in lane number four. Liendo's best time, 47.55. Just off of Hayden's record of 47.27. As Brittany said, sent way back in 2009. Here we are now, final of the men's 100 meter freestyle. An explosion of humanity off the blocks there in lane number four. Look at the distance that Liendo got. Through the first 15 meters, he's only a body length ahead of everybody. And he's getting a lot of air now. I mentioned it in this 50, but he's not gonna wanna breathe in this final 25. So it's strategic to get as much in as you can right now. Keep this rhythm up and it's all Liendo at the 50. 22-4 is the best split he's had. 22-7, he's right there and like, Brittany was saying, we'll see what he's got here on the back end. Second is Acevedo in lane number five, and third is Fulham Hort in six. And watch what we get out of Leendo. Is he gonna put his head down? There's the breath at the 15 meter mark, and he's starting to reach. His head is down as we come to the finish. Leendo to the wall in four, 47, 86. A great swim for Josh Liendo for the win. Second, Javier Acevedo, a great drop in time for him. Look at this, 48.50. Third is goes to lane number six. That's Edward Fulham Hope. The rookie will be making his national team debut at the World Championships, 49.43. And third, and in the top four, that's Finley Knox. Best time for him at 49.50. Yeah, and that third fastest time in the world right there, Josh Liendo, 47.86. Finley Knox, Edouard Fulamuo from Point Claire getting himself on that national team for the first time. A really great swim for him. And like you said, Javi Acevedo, a solid 48.5. He definitely took advantage of some of that wake there from Josh Liendo, but an awesome swim there for Javi. And those are the four men that will represent Team Canada this summer. And some, some great swims, some best times out of the swimmers in the top four. Acevedo, Fulham Holt, and Knox. Just a little bit off for Knox, but right on that time. You're going to get to talk to your race winner. Third fastest time in the world this year, 47.86. Joshua Liendo, North York Aquatic Club. Third fastest time in the world so far this year at 47.86 for Josh And a great win. 
two teammates, Edward Fulham Hoot and Joshua Lendo from Florida in the NCAA American Schools. Another national championship victory under your belt. Josh Leando, you're now on day, I don't know, about 10 of racing pretty much straight. How are you managing this turnaround and the recovery? Um, I'm hurting. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just, uh, just making sure I stood on top of my recovery even last week, even before. Um, I knew it was going to be tough. And obviously just racing hard and racing tough. Awesome. And now, obviously, you're training in Florida, home here at these trials. What does it mean to have your parents to cheer you on. I mean, it's awesome. It's awesome to look up and see that they're in the stands, and it's awesome to have, have them cheer me on. You know, I've been training in this pool for a long time, and it's good to be back here and good to be racing. And is the goal this summer, I know Brent's on the deck, is the goal this summer to notch down that Canadian record mark that Brent set in 2009? I mean, yeah, he told me, he told me to get rid of it. I, I don't know where he is, but he's like, it's about time it's gone, so I have to get the job done. And it's great to see that support, the future supporting the, for the past, supporting the future. Congratulations, Josh Leando, your national champion in the men's 100 freestyle. Thank you.